Alright, this is my uh, little ultimate badass solid state charging circuit. And I uh, just want to show this because, in my opinion, this is a very cheap and easy version of what a lot of people are spending a thousand, a couple thousand dollars on, which is a little ridiculous to me. But they can do what they want to do. But uh, all this is is very what it looks like is a damn rat's nest was what they would call it. But it may look like crap, but it works pretty good and it's very simple. I got a drive coil. This section here is very similar to a Bedini circuit, except I've got a third winding on this right here. I'm, I'm basically using two wires just to get a shelf oscillation, and I'm tapping the high voltage across the trigger. And I've got a third winding here that's got low inductance, thicker wire. It's being rectified. It's charging a capacitor. That's just my excess energy that right now I'm using to switch this relay for my pulsing circuit on here. And this is basically just a three-in-one charger because what it is is a regular charger that I use for charging anything from you know, a button cell to a car battery. And I can switch it with this knob to a high voltage mode which basically just sends my pulse into a high voltage transformer to give me about 500 volts pulse if I need it which I find useful for uh, uh, restoring batteries and stuff and then I can switch it to my cat pulser which is the circuit I always use with the uh, bridge timing, potential bridge timing which just takes my cat bank over here and pulses it into the battery through the relay using this capacitor so that effectively gives me a cat pulser and uh, right now I got no battery on there I'm j I've just got this microwave oven bulb on there I'm going to show that later just so you can see the pulses but uh, right now I'm going to cut it on right now it's in uh, regular charge mode I'm getting about 72 volts out um, excuse me after the neon and uh, I guess first I'm just going to show the rate at which it'll charge. So I'm going to take this 12 volt down here and hook that up. So I'm just going to let the voltage rise a little bit so you can see the rate. The input is, a tw is 12 volts right now, 130 milliamps with the regular charge mode. When I use the high voltage, um, it's going to be less current, so it won't work on this battery very well for charging. Then it's going to draw about 200 milliamps. When I switch it to the cat pulser, it draws about 170. So I'm not maxing above 200 milliamps on this setup. You can see how fast it's charging. So, I'm going to take that off. I'm going to switch it over to the high voltage now. Now you can see I'm kicking out and lighting this fluorescent about 500 volts and what I have left is about 127 volts. So that's what I would use uh, to help restore battery after I've hit it with the cat pulser a good little while. Okay, now I'm going to switch it over to the cat pulser. Now you can see that and now it's pulsing this bulb over here through my cat bank same deal as before relays firing giving a good pulse and since I'm using this capacitor I don't have to worry about a, a uh, uh, extra battery using very little uh, energy as opposed to a 555 timer if you can see that So, switch that back to regular, and cut it off, but there you have it, that's how simple it is. Uh, I can charge anything with this, rejuvenate anything with this damn near, and all of it was made from junk parts. This cost me how much? Probably, I think, zero dollars. That's how much it cost me. 
Uh, so I just wanted to point that out. You see this crappy circuit is uh, doing what these thousand dollar circuits do. Why? Not because I'm amazingly awesome, because uh, I just took the time to build it, which anybody can do. So um, you, know, you can take my advice and try to build one yourself or go buy a kit. It's up to you. I'm not trying to knock anybody's hustle, but uh, just, just putting my point out there. I right, appreciate it.